Regent Street is one of two remaining post offices in the Isle of Man and they'll both be closing early in the new year. I spoke to post office chairman Graeme Crugeen. Well, between uh, the, the post office network, it loses about £700,000 a year. The Ramsey and the Douglas one equals out to just over £500,000 loss each year. Um, and with, with that, we have to actually address the, the losses across the business. Now, uh, will there be job losses here? Unfortunately, there will. There'll be about 19. Some of those are part-time. We do have... Uh, vacancies in the post office that you know, suitable people will be able to be redeployed and Man and Retail have said that they would like to offer uh, the suitable people jobs in the network when they take over and the stores that the sub post offices are going to are actually very close to where the existing premises are. Now, we've been in Regent Street this morning and people are pretty shocked to be honest and some say quite disgusted that we're losing that, that main post office down there which is a bit of, of a hub really on Regent Street. Well they're not going to be losing it because it's just going to move around the corner into Strand Street and one of the reasons we've got to do this is to try and protect the network. You know, The post office has to provide £2 million of a dividend to the Treasury every year and sustaining these sorts of losses, we have to do something to address it. You know, there'll hopefully be no loss of service, they will be carrying out the same services round the corner from the existing post offices, and um, you know, we will be monitoring and hoping that the services will be carried out you know, to the standards they are now. But people do expect to see a, a post office in the town, don't they? Our visitors, they expect to see a dedicated post office building. But it will have post office on it. It won't, it won't just be marked up as spa. It will have post office all over. So people will know. When you look around the Isle of Man, you know where the post offices are. And it'll just be a continuation of that. There'll be no loss of branding for the post office. And there'll be no loss of service. And you think there will be the space then in, in, inside that existing spa shop? I mean, I'm just picturing the, the queues that we have now in Regent Street. Yes, well, part of the business case was that they had to give the de dedicated area towards the post office. So in, in one of them, they would be slightly bigger than the, the area that we have now. Can you understand that, that people are pretty upset about this? Of course they will be, because it's, it's a change. But what we're trying to do is to protect the network. If, you know, a business losing £500,000 just on those two offices, you know, it, it can't continue. Otherwise, it could have knock-on effects to other parts of the business. And, and is this just a, a, a sign of the times, the way we are moving forward with, with technology and so on? Well, I, I think when you look at the post that you probably get yourself, um, a lot of it will be reducing about the number of, sort of letters and cards you get, and it, a lot of it will be advertising. You know, and there's been a lot more competition in the parcels market than there was previously, so the business for the post office has been squeezed, and you know, to tr it's always funded the regional network of sub-post offices. So this will hopefully keep those sub-post offices running. And, and is this a fait accompli? Are we seeing this happen next year? Uh, it will be happening next year. The services will be carried out by um, Man in Retail. You know, we have to do something. You know, we were hemorrhaging money out of these two offices and something had to be done. So from early next year, this will be the new premises for a post office that's trying to save money by closing buildings.